Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mike von Beringham here, and this is Singing with Vibrato, Who, What, When, Why, and How. Who? Who uses vibrato? The vast majority of singers all throughout the land. It doesn't matter whether you're in your operatic kind of Nessendorma or something a little bit more soft and sensual like some Billy Joel. Always a woman to me. Nice little tail on the end there. Or you could go for an Ian Gillen from Deep Purple Power Scream like in Highway Star. Something along those lines. Vibrato is generally used across the board by the vast majority of singers through all the different genres and even by some actors or even in panto, like a panto dame going, oh, sir. Anything along those lines, that is vibrato. What? What is vibrato? Well, according to Wikipedia, Vibrato comes from the Italian vibrare and means to vibrate. It is a musical effect consisting of a regular pulsating change of pitch. But to most of us, it is that kind of warbling sound that people do in singing. When? When is vibrato used? I tend to find there are two schools of, not thought, but kind of two camps of how people use vibrato in music. In the one side, in the one camp, I would say you have your more operatic musical kind of genres. In the other camp, more your rock, pop, and, you know, blues, funk, soul, etc., etc. In the musical camp, I find they tend to use vibrato much more throughout an entire phrase than in the rock and pop, where they may just use the vibrato at the end of a phrase. For example... Um, a very bad rendition I'm about to do of Music of the Night from Phantom. Night time sharpens, heightens each sensation. So as you can see, there's a lot of vibrato going on through the whole way. Also, someone who kind of does a little bit of a crossover, Mr. Meatloaf. I never tell you a lie. Which always sounds like he's about to collapse. But again, vibrato through the whole phrase. With more rock and pop, you may get something like, um, if we take David Coverdale from White Snake, um, the deeper the love, the stronger the emotion. So you can hear we're just using the phrase, uh, the vibrato at the end of the phrase. And if you don't do it, for example, the deeper the love, it just sounds so so barren and bare with a bit of vibrato, 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 deeper than love. It allows you to do so much more. So that is when I would consider people use vibrato. Why? Why use vibrato? There are many reasons to use vibrato and they are all really good ones. We can add emotion, we can add depth, we can add variety. We can bring out real feeling in our voice when we use vibrato. And we can use the vibrato in different ways. We can use really strong, powerful vibrato if we want to make a vocal really sore. Or we can really dial it back and make it very gentle and um, very vulnerable to bring out a different feeling in the music we're doing. One of the great things about vibrato, though, is it also aids in projecting the voice and it also aids in... um, for example, when you're doing a like a very powerful, strong vocal, using vibrato aids in your delivery and also takes the strain, the edge off because doing a long note without vibrato is actually a lot more strenuous, strenuous, strenuous than you would think. And which is why a lot of operatic and musical artists use vibrato because when you're singing with that much power, and that much control. If you were to try and sing all of those vocal lines just straight, your voice would tire (laughs) dramatically. So vibrato helps your control and your projection as well. How? How do we use vibrato? Vibrato is one of these things that comes very naturally to some people, not so naturally to others. 
But the chances are, at some point in life, you will have used vibrato, probably without even realizing it. Now, when using vibrato, it's very important to have a decent amount of breath control. Now, I'm not going to go into breath control in this video. There's plenty of great vocal coaches and teachers out there. Look it up. It will help. Believe you me. But we are going to go from absolute right bottom rung from scratch. And I'm going to try and help you guys to at least get a start of how to use vibrato. Now, I find that different people respond to different ways and different ideas about how to get started with vibrato. So I'm going to run through a bunch of little exercises and ideas and we will see how it goes. So try them out. Hopefully one of these will click with you. If not, don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. There may be a way that you can access your vibrato. So we're going to start with the ng sound. The ng sound. The way we achieve this sound, first of all, is by going, we want it right up in the nose. So we're bringing it right up here. Um, if you were to clamp your nose shut, it will conk out. So you know when you're doing it correctly. It's all through the nose. The reason I'm using this particular sound is it makes it quite easy to push and swell the sound. And you can also do a good impression of a motorbike going past, which will help, or a mosquito, whatever floats your boat. So we're going to start off by getting a... So we want to be sitting up fairly straight, nice and relaxed, shoulders back, nice posture. Now we're going to go... And I want you to do it as quiet as possible. So... Then what we're going to do, we're going to do a little push of volume. Don't worry if the pitch changes because what will probably happen is, as mine did there, mine dropped naturally to the pitch that feels natural. That's what we want to try and achieve first. If you find that you're struggling to do that, something else you can do with the NG sound is drop your jaw. What we are trying to get is that push or the dip in the sound. So if I get that again. I'm literally pushing from the back, sort of almost by the back of the tongue, the back of the throat. It's just a gentle pulse like that. We don't need to do it fast just yet. We're going to build up to that. So once you've tried, once you've got the hang of that, you can do it like a motorbike. Any sound like that that gives you that little pulse is what we're after. From there, we can try speeding it up a little bit. It's going to feel very weird at first, but once you start speeding it up, it'll take a little bit of practice, but that is, we're sort of bordering on how to use the vibrato sound. We're not quite there yet, but we're just getting that pulse and sound and the push that we want. So that is the first part. The E sound. This general principle follows the same as the ng sound. So we're just very gentle. Don't worry if you put too much into it or if you use your stomach a bit. We will eliminate that later on. Some people will go... We're just trying to get used to that sensation at the back of the throat in the vocal cords of just that push. And E is also more of a musical note. As you can see, as you start to speed it up, uh, excuse me, 
you can see it makes you burp, but also we start to get that vibrato sound again. So that's using the E in the same way. And again, E. You can do longer pushes if it helps. We're just trying to get that dynamic between the soft and the loud. So that's number two. Flitting between notes. Some um, music teachers I've seen use the, say, going from one note to another, sort of a... I've tried this on multiple students and they have all struggled with it. But it obviously works. These people know what they're talking about. They know what they're teaching. But again, as I say, not all examples work for everybody. So we can try the flitting between notes. You only want a little um, going from literally one note to uh, a tone or semitone up. Once you get used to doing that. You can see they were getting that. Again, this is all the early stages of vibrato. There's a big difference between going and la and having it nice and crystal clear. But this is our starting point. So that is number three. The old lady sound. The old lady sound is one of my favourites because it's one of those silly sounds that you may have even used when just messing around with some friends and you've used vibrato but without realising it. The old lady sound is what I consider that Oh, Mr Darcy, behave! It's that sort of oh, And it's quite easy to do, especially if you use what we call our head voice or your silly lady voice, which is that Oh, hello! I'm a lady, etc., etc. And I've looked right in my light and it's just blinded me. Um, so if you take that voice, oh, hello, and then just go, oh, just shake your body. Oh, no. That is all vibrato. So put on your best pantomime dame voice and, oh, hello, and just go crazy. Throw it around, spin it about and see what happens. Because the chances are, Anyone can do this. Just knock it out. Ooh. Let it just trail off into oblivion. But that is also vibrato. So once you can get the hang of and the feel of that, Ooh. try and hold a note with it. So, Ooh. 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 That is all vibrato. So if that works for you, excellent. You have, uh, you get a gold star. Bong! The bong. Not to be confused with drug paraphernalia. This is the word bong and trying to sound like a bell. So if I say the word bong, again, we go into our nasal and it's a good way to access that noise and that sound if you're not used to it. So if we go bong, Bong. Using those little flutterings, as we try to learn, say, in the other steps, that is a really good way just to use, try and mimic the sound of a bell. Bong. So just little swells, little pushes back and forth at the back of the throat and the tongue. You can do it. I've got faith in you. Head voice. No. This is another one of those silly lady voices, but I found this one's actually really good for trying to access the vibrato. Say the word law, but in your silly lady voice. Law. So, law. To start with, then we're going to try doing that. Law. For some reason, when I say law, it raises the tongue up slightly. And for me, it, it I, I'm not sure what it is about it, but it makes it easier to access a vibrato for me personally. So, so once you've lifted the tongue, just waver it back and forth in the throat there. It 
It's a really easy one. Once you've got the hang of it, then you can try taking it to different notes in the scales. So, lo, 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 lo. Yeah, that doesn't work. But you can see it just by that shape. Lo, my tongue is slightly raised. So just remember that. And hopefully this one will be of great benefit. So those are my tips for getting to grips with vibrato. Now, one thing I want to mention is the fact that what we are doing here sounds very forced, but what we are aiming to do is once we've got the sensation and the sound and the pulsing right, we can then dial it back and relax more with it and make it more natural. So for example, where I was doing the, the jaw dropping and going really over the top, the what I can do is once I've got that sensation and that sort of memory in my sort of in, in this case in my nose, in my tongue, in my vocal cords as well, I can then stop the jaw moving. And that's what we're aiming to do is to be able to really um, use the vibrato in a very relaxed fashion. Now, I don't necessarily mean that, for example, when you're singing with power and using a strong vibrato, that that should be relaxed. It's controlled and it's not forced. That's what we do not want. So all of these things, um, again, if you feel that you're using your stomach to push your vibrato at the start, don't panic too much. Once you get the sensation and the sound, then stop using your stomach to push it. Try and just control it more to the throat and the tongue and the vocal cords. That is what we are aiming to do. Now, when it comes to vibrato, one, one more point before I skedaddle, is that there are different kinds of vibrato. You have very wide vibratos, vibratos like, yeah, which, you know, really woo, 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 all over the place. You know, the, the, the pitching change is quite dramatic. You have very gentle vibratos, maybe just a, just something along those lines. You could have that horrible Belinda Carlisle vibrato, which makes it sound like a sheep sitting on a washing machine. You got that, that goes down, I dream of you when you turn around. I wouldn't recommend that to anybody, but it works for Belinda. So go Belinda. Well done. Uh, Heaven is a place on earth was a cracking tune, by the way. So you've got all these different styles of vibrato. Try and listen to different singers' vibratos. Try and mimic them if you can um, and feel the difference between them. So you can have short, fast vibratos. You can have slow, wide vibratos. The more you play around with it, the better you will get. And then you've got, as I always say, you have more, you have more weapons in your arsenal. You have more strings to your bow. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Um, I hope this is of some help to you. If it's absolutely no help whatsoever and makes no sense, I apologise. But feel free to drop me a message or a comment and if I can help you in any way and make more sense of it, I will try and go a bit more in depth with you. So uh, look forward to your comments guys. Take care, all the best and I will see you soon. Tatty bye.